Hi everybody, today I'd like to present to you my latest solution to the 7 to 1 gear ratio problem. Um, here it is, uh, it does look a lot more complicated than you'd think it would need to be. Um, but I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how it works. So over here we've got the crank handle, that's our input. And over here we've got our output. Uh, so the idea is that we're going to create a 7 to 1 gear ratio between the input and the output. Over there, and I'll just demonstrate how that works. So we turn the handle, we've got 1 two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that demonstrates that by turning this handle seven times, this output goes around just once. So it's a seven to one gear ratio. And this one turns out to be exact. Um, in my previous video, I tried to do the same thing, just using two, three, and five gear ratio gears. And of course, when you multiply those and divide those out, it's not possible to create an exact 7 to 1 solution. I did get very close. I got to 6.9984, but it's still not exact, whereas this one is exact. Okay, so I'll just explain the thinking behind the design of this mechanism. Um, I'll just start with a simpler example. So when I was working on the 7 to 1 gear ratio problem, just using 2, 3, 5, and 5 gear ratios and multiplying and dividing those out, uh, of course I discovered like anyone else that it's not possible to create an exact 7 to 1 gear ratio just using that technique. Um, so what I thought was, well the only way we can get to 7 instead of multiplying, if we can somehow add two gear ratios, then that would be the solution to the problem. So for example in this one here I've created a 6 to 1 gear ratio by combining a 1 to 3 and a 2 to 1, creating a 6 to 1 between this input and this output here. Now if somehow I can add another revolution to that 6 to 1 then that would give us the 7 to 1. So how do we do that? Well after much thought I figured out that if we could somehow not only turn this gear to give us the 6 to 1 but also rotate the entire mechanism at the same time, one revolution, then we would get the six revolutions from the gearing mechanism and one more revolution just from rotating the entire unit and that was my breakthrough to be creating this so that is essentially what I've done here um, we've got this fixed wheel here we've got this turning mechanism there and we've got a this has got 60 teeth this has got 20 teeth so the gearing between this and that is a 3 to 1 and then I've kind of created this elaborate 2 to 1 gearing ratio to, uh, from the edge there back to the center which connects to this shaft here and I've sort of made it symmetrical so that the whole thing's balanced but which makes it look more complicated than it probably needs to be uh, but that's uh, that explains how this mechanism works so as we go around we've got the 6 to 1 coming from the edge of course this wheel here is fixed and then on top of that uh, we've got the revolution of the, of the entire unit giving us to 7 to 1. Now you might think that a 7 to 1 gear ratio is not that exciting. Uh, you can create the same thing with a 28 tooth gear. But what I've done now is change the gearing ratio between this point here and this point here from being 6 to 1 to 12 to 1 by changing out some of the gears in here from 1 to 1 to 2 to 1. And what that means is that the overall gear ratio is now going to be the 12 plus the one from the revolution of the overall mechanism giving us a 13 to 1 which of course is not easy to create using normal gears so I'll just demonstrate that so we've got the indicator at the top we've got the handle here and we'll just go around 13 times so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 so there we go 13 revolutions to the one crank handle giving us the 13 to 1 gear ratio. Now I think that's pretty interesting and obviously you can use this kind of uh, mechanism to create many other types as well. You can create a 16 to 1 gear ratio in here plus the one revolution would give us a 17 to 1 and that way you can create many of the prime numbers that would otherwise be very difficult to create. So hope you like that idea and thanks for watching and if you like more of this kind of content please like and subscribe. See you next time.